So this little fly, it's basically a, a play on a fox squirrel nymph. Um, but it's one that catches me an awful lot of fish. And it's a really simple tie as well. Uh, I've got on the, the hook, which is a full of milk, heavyweight grub size 10, tie a 12, tie a 14, just drop the bead size, it's a 3 mil copper bead. And I'm just using a, a black tying thread because that's got to disappear with the head that I create. Get on a bit of tying thread, trim away the excess and come down the body. Not too far around the bend, but enough. I've then got a fine gold wire, which I'm going to tie in coming down to where you finished off the body so this stuff Davy what an SLF and it's this color which is bleached ginger that's the body and the thorax is this dark brown. And this is like a mixture of um, squirrel, squirrel dubbing. And all we've got to do is we've got to take some of the, the fine bleached ginger. Now what you should do with your dubbing is imagine what you'd normally get on a fly and then half it and then half it again. So you can see how thin this dubbing rope is really thin tiny tiny smidge more tiny smidge probably two wraps if I'm lucky and then I've got a wee gap there I've just noticed that in the camera we do what gaps Oh, let's just rectify that. Okay, and then in your brown, dark brown, really nice colour that. And then again, this thin, really thin dubbing rock. And now come up with your, your gold wire. I'm just gonna turn the vise a little here. Come up with your gold wire. Close turns. I'm wanting this to sink without big open wraps. And then secure. Twizzle that off. And then get the rice work where it needs to be. Again, some more of this stuff. And what you've got to do is you've got to whip finish it with um, the dubbing on. I'll show you. So I want about, you can do this with about an inch, anything longer than that, and it gets caught in your whip finishing tool. So you can see that I've got about an inch uh, dubbing. That's where it ends. So it's nice and tight. I get a little bit of varnish because everyone's got a lock in on top of this. Stick a little bit on the thread, not the dubbing material. And then whip finish the fly. Do you know what be looking chunky monkey here? Oh, this sorts itself out. And then finish them off. Give me your scissors. And then just come in. A bit of Velcro, and you can see what I mean there. Nice skinny fly, and that's got to do everything for uh, uh, your caris and sedge type flies. Most buggy stuff that's got to work a treat for. It also works well on reservoirs, but it's uh, predominantly a river fly. An easy tie, great ammunition, and one that catches lots of fish. You can, at granum time, drop the size of this a little bit, size 14, and tie it with a, a greeny olive 
uh, body. Same thorax, and you'll have great results. Hope you enjoyed that, folks. If you did, please be kind enough to subscribe to my channel. Take care, and bye-bye.